we also have um should do that. let's let me bump on that one jack Grish. there where's that one with a woman complaining or trying to order some food yeah here we go so um, of course you know i love my public freakouts this is another classic public freakout um again no need to really try and rationalize or try and psychoanalyze this person but it always intrigues me why how somebody can get so bent up um when they're ordering food especially at drive through drive throughs i feel like should be the most stressless they should be the most um what they should be the least stressful place that you can go and order something to eat i'd imagine number one would be buffets especially in a foreign country right going to a buffet in a foreign country must be the height of stress going to like a food market in a foreign country must be you know the anxiety there must be off the chains right trying to decide what you want everything kind of especially if you, when we went to like mexico and stuff like everything's jumping up up at you the colors the smells the noise it's like you don't know what to pick you just go crazy um and of course busy restaurants and stuff but i'd imagine a drive through would be really low on the, on the list in terms of causing anxiety or stress it wouldn't necessarily elicit those kind of emotions would it think about it you'd rock up you know you already kind of know what you want when you're driving right a little rumble of the belly tells you hey time to go pick up some munch you rock up you just think hmm what should i get you know what the menu is you order what you want you make your adjustments don't put sauce don't do this don't do that uh you pay your money and you keep it moving isn't it it should be pretty easy you collect it and you go but this young lady thought um different and maybe it's just a mental health thing as well because she does sound a little bit you know like she might be off a couple of her meds but god damn it's went from zero to one thousand very very quickly um can i get two uh fro fox cake pops and a water please Okay. Uh, I have a birthday, I have chocolate, and I have chocolate. A chocolate and a birthday. All right, one birthday, one chocolate, and what else was it? A water. And you can really tell she's being an absolute bitch in it, just from just the 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 the, the answers back in it. And that's the poor. That's one of the key indicators of absolute dickheads, right? If you're gonna treat a service person with that level of disrespect, that level of content, that level of just attitude, I know you're an awful person. I don't need to even find out more about you. I just gotta rock up to a drive through, see how you engage with the person that you can hear through the microphone, through the speaker, and then I can judge your character pretty quickly. Alright, can I get you anything else today? No thank you. Perfect. I will see you at the window if you're total. Please don't forget to wear a not wearing a mask. Here comes the issues. <laughs> I don't. I have a medical exemption. And as soon as she says she doesn't have a face mask, the, the, the barista didn't even waste time. She just turned around immediately and went to go get a manager. Because guess what? She's been subjected to psychopaths rocking up and using... Imagine imagine going to a Starbucks in order to go and protest. Imagine that's your platform. Imagine that's your field. Um, that's your football field. That's where you go and show out. Imagine picking beef with that. that that's It's such a bizarre way to make a statement. But engage. Maybe much like there's different segments of social media that exist that we don't really know of right especially if you know for instance black twitter there is a segment of twitter where if you follow the certain accounts you get a completely different feed and if you follow other accounts it's this whole little ecosystem there might be a thing as well on facebook where there's a group of people pages where they essentially cheer each other on with this sort of stuff and the same way that i'm ridiculing the lady recording they're usually ridiculing the barista or the service person you know on the other side of the camera i'm sure that must happen but i just can't understand how you can watch this video and side with the woman who rocks up with a bit of paper that says she can't wear a mask because what she can't breathe through her mouth or ears she has a like or no sorry like what are you doing wow they just shut the doors they won't even serve me no they shut the doors because they're gonna go she's gonna go get someone from senior management so to be safe they close the door they close the windows it's not because you are somehow making them quiver in their boots they just don't want you to cause a stink so she goes straight to the manager and says hey deal with this i don't get paid enough to this nonsense none of them do none of them get paid enough to be subjected to this sort of stuff right they're already doing you a favor by working 
right, during this hard times because they have no other option and because, you know, capitalism and all that malarkey. So imagine going there and giving them extra stress. Imagine doing that. Imagine not being the kind of decent human being that would go and have a smile on your face like, hey, how are you doing? You know, really make their lives as easy and simple as they can, as it can be. And then if you know what an actual decent human being does, he tips them really well because he doesn't really he doesn't really go out he or she doesn't go out too often anyway so if they do go to a starbucks they just throw in a little tip because as a thank you to the person that's working behind till because you know what they wouldn't want to do that so it's like you know what thank you for your sacrifice thank you for sacrificing yourself for my little mocha choker pano chocolate toasty cheese thingy that i'm getting from um starbucks i could easily make at home right thank you and you throw them a tip you don't go there with your bloody handwritten doctor's note Mom, eh, Starbucks employee, I can't wear a mask because I'm a baby. It's like. Are you recording? I am. You're live. Because I'm sick of being discriminated against and I don't have a mask. I mask discrimination. You gotta love that. I have a mask. This is what Malcolm X, uh, Martin Luther King, and various other freedom fighters died for, right? Not some Mandela's probably in his grave clapping along, going, "Well done." This is why, this is what I committed. This is my life's work culmination. Of and a, a medical exemption, shit. I have a mask and a medical exemption. Jesus Christ. That's, that, that's a bit of a mind fuck, isn't it? She has a mask, doesn't want to wear it, and also has a medical exemption. Hmm. Someone's not committing to their side. She gets out of her car now. I don't know why she's out of her the car. And it's not a door, it's a window. She's banging on the I window now. Name. Imagine making this much of a scene for a fucking panini. I want your names. I'm suing this whole store. Of course, you guys classic. are going to be sued. I'm suing you, I want your names. Do, do you reckon there's a law firm that exists that kind of has to just, that exists solely for the purpose of trying to entertain these psychopaths and their lawsuits? Do you reckon? Or oh, there's a, a law firm that specializes in public freakouts, and I wonder if they actually get. I wonder if they, if they actually do get any money from it. I, I probably think they. I, I imagine they do, especially if you just if you've just threatened a, a corporate a corporation with a lawsuit, especially now during these sensitive times, and you cite um, discrimination and abuse or violation of you know some law, right? Something along the other. You probably could get them to settle out of court and give you in you know, and sort of kind of slip you a bit of money in your, in your back pocket you probably could i'm sure regina who else is on staff right now jesus christ regina this is discrimination have you are you aware of <laughs> california 51a set civil regina's looking at her like what are you talking about i have i have i have a family at home do you think i want to be here talking to you discrimination she's like okay section codes 51a it says you we have the right to <laughs> to eat to shop anywhere we want regardless of age sexual orientation race or medical condition and businesses also have the right to refuse entry based on whatever criteria they have works both ways my dear okay and i understand that but we have the right to refuse you really don't see? you're you're yes. you're abusing the law and i will see you you know what lennon lost his job i'm amber and you know what you guys are going to get sued i didn't think i was going to sue you but now i'm suing you yeah you know what i got that's mental illness isn't it that's adderall that speed, um, whatever else they take over there, that's definitely a mental illness. Five thousand dollars donated to me. I did to sue this to Matt, and you know what? I said I wasn't gonna sue you guys, but you guys are next. Jeez. Starting with this store, laughing at me. Look at them, laughing at somebody with a disability. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> have fun getting fired and shut down. Yeah, you guys have a great day. I love, I love service industry workers. I love it because I've been in that position myself. Of course, not in the same way, but I love the just the nunch. The same way f sports and football build character, working in, in on the till, working in some sort of window, kiosk, hole in the wall, serving people at a football game, whatever it may be. Being of service to others definitely exposes you to some of the trash humans that are out there and you find a way of just dealing with them in the most nonchalant way possible. You don't react, you don't get angry, you don't shout or scream, you just nod away, you kind of send them on their way with your little kind of, you know, with your uh, training manual, um, training manual greetings. Hello sir, how can I help you? Hello madam. 
are you looking for anything in particular today? <laughs> you know? <laughs> they start screaming at you like, have a good day. And they're saying, fuck you. You're like, oh, that's the, oh, that's unfortunate to hear. If there's anything else I can do to help, please make sure you give me a call. You know, <laughs> it's like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You've got to love it. Absolutely got to 